welcome everybody to uh, our little Google Hangout. Um, you know, we wanted to spend the next 30 minutes uh, giving you guys some insight to some of the things that guys uh, think about. So um, I'm gonna toss it over to to my man um, Ra to to kind of spark it off, and then we're just gonna jump right into it. So y'all don't want to miss this. Keep, keep take notes, ladies. Um, get all your questions ready. Uh, tweet, do whatever you want to do. We're about to go in. Rob, what up, boy? To go in, I, I want to th first of all, I want to thank everyone that's tuning in all around the world. This is very grown and managed and, and responsible and sexy and a lot, a lot of things that we're about to do right now. Just as a love king, you know, uh, and, and, and a guy that's, you know, four weeks in on a wonderful album, A Place Called Loveland, that's available in stores now and on iTunes, you know, um, We've been chopping it up some for some time, you know, even in on working on the album, JoJo, you know, as part of my management team, they're like, yo, this album creates dialogue. You know what I mean? So when you listen to this album, you can't listen to this album and not kind of kick it with somebody that just is is it, 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 it has no depth. You know what I mean? So it, so it, so a guy's are thinking like, yo, let's have a, let's have a a round table discussion, you know what I mean, with with uh with men from all walks of life, my peers. You know what I mean, and uh, and, and 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 yo, it's time to ch it's trying to chop it up. So I, I would love to welcome uh, Kenny Burns, uh, you know, you know, to the to the to the roundtable discussion. My man Jeff Johnson to the roundtable discussion. Uh, Jojo Brim, of course, will be our mediator for the night to the roundtable discussion, and Tony Gaskins to the roundtable discussion. Um, Rod, let's just jump right into it. You know, you talked about about it being grown and sexy, and um, I think really the first the first thing that I wanted to to really talk about was I, I think the burning question is about relationships or burning topic, if you will, is about relationships. Um, you talk a lot about that, right? But I'm gonna throw this I'm gonna float this question out there, and really, and I really want you to expand on it. But like, what do you do, right? You in a relationship, or you're dealing with you're dealing with a woman. She's in love, right? You and we all know what that looks like. But you're not in love with her. She's just somebody that you have a nice time with. How do you manage that? Like, and and how do you manage it? And and how do you communicate her to her in a way that um, respects how she feels about you, but at the same time keeps the boundaries? Uh, is that? And, and I'm still learning, you know what I mean? Like, cause, cause you know, I'm not, I'm not married, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a father, um, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm this, I'm this guy, I'm the love king, you know. I'm this artist that, um, you know, has these great songs that you have to live up to. And sometimes, you know, in dating, you, you meet people that either, you know, choose not to hear over the music or realize at some point, like, I gotta hear over the music or read in between the lines or, you know what I mean? Um, but. I think, man, ideally it needs to be somebody that's your friend. So, 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 re so, regardless of how that pans out, how that situation pans out, whether, whether you know, whether that, whether that turn, whether that friendship turns into twenty years, or you know, uh, of intimacy and bonding forever, or you know, two months and y'all kind of go y'all separate ways, um, you still have, you still have a, a, a friendship, I, and I, I, you know, and I've learned. Brutal, brutally and in, in the hard way that honesty is, is really the best I think the best policy you know what I mean I think a lot of times though and we get in the beginning we, we deal with we deal with the representative and not the person that you gonna be you, that you're gonna have to deal with on day in and day out you know what I mean right right so 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 um Jeff my man <laughs> um I, so I get it right Rob so but I mean, how do how do so? What do you do though, Jeff? Do you do you do you set boundaries? Do you not sleep over her house? Do you not accept gifts from her? Do you not let her, you know, meet your meet your mom? Like, how do you set those parameters? Or you just let her in, and then she just got to deal with the consequences of how she feels? Because obviously, what? she's in love, and she has an expectation. Well, it 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 really depends on at the end of the day what you want, and mm -hmm. so most of the brothers I know secretly want drama like they they want the chick that's going to wild out and that's why they put her in a position to wild out so it's like i'm a lie to her up until the exact moment where i have to tell the truth and then be like damn i ain't really mean it i'm sorry 
<laughs> so, I mean, it, it just, I mean, JoJo, for real, man, let's be honest, right? It, it right. really depends on where you are. So, so when I was in my 20s, I could handle drama more than I can in my 40s, right? And so at 40 years old, I don't want no drama. And so I, I think that I think we just got to be honest about the fact that, but it's some grown ass men that still like drama. So they will be with a chick that's in love with them. They know they're trying to just kick it. They won't say anything until that last moment, and then be like, "Damn, why she flatten my tires?" It's, it's, it, and and I think that 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 to to Ra's point, there really is. There's so many women out here that are open to the kind of relationship that you want. And I think that as men, we just got to be in a place where we find the women that want the same thing we want instead of playing with the women that want more than what we want. Wow. Okay. So, so let me, yo, great, great insight, Kenny Burns, right? You've been, you've been around the world. You've been, you know, with, with the best of the best. Um, you live, you, big part of your life is, is cultivating lifestyle and culture. Obviously, you come across you come across and come across many women time and time again. How, as someone who has been so accomplished and is in this spotlight, how do you manage? How do you manage to 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 be in integrity and still kind of be inside this world where you got to make it pop, you got to make it do what it do, whatever word can I can I think of any of yeah. those terms? You yeah. got to do that. How you got to you got to make the dream real. You got to make the dream real. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, you know, selling fantasy for a living, you know, it's quite the challenge, especially being married for 14 years, you know. But I think the uh, end game is, or sorry, the beginning game needs to be about knowing the person that you're falling for. I think a lot of us, you know, to Jeff's point, it's like some people do want drama. A lot of us don't. I know I can't stand no goddamn drama. But as far as, as, far as knowing what you're getting into, you know, my wife said the most gangster shit to me ever in the history of gangsterisms <laughs> when we got together. And she said, and I quote, I fell in love with what they all will fall in love with. Just don't bring that shit to my house. Now, as a former player, I was like, well, shit, did she give me the green light? But at the end of the day, that's just saying, don't be messy. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be putting your, don't put yourself in positions to lose. And then as you grow, you obviously have kids and you intermingle finances, you have mortgages and hours and a whole bunch of different things that kind of, you know, exist and you, you act accordingly. And I think back to one of Jeff's points, age, man. I mean, when we were in our twenties, you know, we run around this country like we ain't had no sense in the world, right. but you know, you get into your thirties and you finally figure out what type of man you are. And then if you, you know, get into your forties properly, you need to be together. You should be <laughs> together. It all, it all should coincide. You know what I'm talking about? Got it. Nah, lo well, well put, um, Tone, my my brother. Um, I want to I want to kind of angle it a little bit different, right? Because we heard a couple of perspectives. We we heard about nobody wants the drama. You know, Rob Rob mentioned, you know, kind of having a friendship. You know, um, you know, Kenny obviously selling a fantasy, but still being in integrity. Like I I would I would ask you from your from your perspective, a woman in love. You not in love, right? Because and I want to stay on that a little bit. Like, what happens when when she wants more? Like, what? How do you handle that? She because at some point she's gonna want more. So what's your take? What's your take on that? Well, my take is a little different because you know I'm married now and I was a grown boy, and I played every game in the world. But when I settled down, I got married at 23 years old. So. I've been married, I'm going on seven years now, and when I finally settled down and I gave in to love, it changed my life. So today, I'm literally 100% faithful to my wife, and I put a $10 million out reward out for anybody that can find a jump off that's sleeping with, that, with me, a $10 million reward. <laughs> but really, I went from one stream of income to 23 streams of income. You know, I went mm -hmm. from the middle of nowhere, nobody knowing me to being the number one relationship coach in the country, you know, coaching celebrities that I can't even mention. And it all just came from that focus. So what I tell guys and, and what I live by is really you shouldn't be playing with hearts because playing with hearts can get somebody killed, you know, realistically, mm -hmm. and that you should be looking for your real. I always say find your real and you'll breathe a lot easier. 
because mm. it, it literally changed my life. So, I mean, that's my take on it. Like, it's time out for the games because hearts getting broken. Karma is real. And it's time really for us in our society with all the killing, with everything going on, it's time for men to find that one woman, that, that dime that we can make our woman and raise a good family and, and leave a legacy. You know, I, I finally saw the light. Well, right. I'm glad you didn't get killed either. <laughs> I almost did. I almost did. That man said, <laughs> killing the people out here in the This shit is crazy. This shit is ill. Yo, so so you know what? You touched on something, Tony, I think is really is really interesting. I'm gonna go over to you, um, to you, Jeff. How important, right? Because obviously you're an accomplished man and you've traveled in very every probably sec sector of pop culture. How important is it to have a woman as a partner in in terms of business? Like meaning and not necessarily in business with you. But as a, a partner that you're sharing these things with, that you're you're looking for her insight, how important is that? Or is it really like, baby, go shopping and go get your hair done and, and come and look pretty for me? Well, I, I, I want to start with something that Ross said earlier because I don't. I I think the thing is, a lot of times we want these amazing relationships when we don't know how to be friends with women. And so I'll be straight up, most brothers I know don't like women. Now let me mm. qualify that. Let me qualify mm. that. Most brothers I know don't like women. They want to possess women. And so they, they don't view women through the lens of, I see how valuable she is, disconnected from what she can do for me. And so most of the brothers I know, it's all about, can she look this way when I show up? Can she do my taxes for me? <laughs> Can she hold this package? Can she hold this package for me? Can right. she do blah, 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 right? But but it's not, I think she's unbelievably amazing without me. And and so if if brothers don't get to a place where they they know how to have those kind of relationships, then you never get to what Tony was talking about, or you never get to what Kenny was talking about, or you don't get to what, what I have in my own marriage which is a relationship where we value who each other is independently and we still come to the table and value what we have as a union right. and one doesn't take away from the other. So I love the fact that, that my wife is my best friend for real, is my partner for real. But, but I don't think you have to be married to be able to have great partnership relationships with women. I think you got to get to a place where you actually value women. And the friendships that you build have the potential of turning into a life partner or a wife. But let's be clear, man. Everybody is not meant to be married. And it's some cats I know that are better by themselves because the <laughs> Negroes is crazy. And they it, it it's saving every woman in the world that they don't want to be with somebody. Um, and so I, I just think that we, we got to realize everything isn't for everybody. And, and, there, and there are folks who are figuring out what's the best thing for me. And so I think you just got to have a level of integrity to who you are and what you want too. Because what gets a lot of cats in trouble is they think I got to get old and get married. No, you got to get old and be mature enough to know who you are, what you want, what you're willing to share and what you're not willing to share. And if that right. leads you to a place that you say, I don't want to be married, then stay the hell by yourself and save all these women out here who you would be killing. So, okay, so then, Ra, you a single man in inside mm -hmm. the chat. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, you out there, you out here in these streets. So, <laughs> like, how, how does that work for you? But look, man, I'm to be honest. Uh, go ahead, before, you, before I say no, that. You're not, you're not settling down, right? You, you got, you, you, you know, right? So how do you manage that? You out, out on the road and... You got one, you know, you could potentially have one in every city. How, how does that thing. work? Here's the thing, you know, being the writer that I am, and, 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 and this, is, this is, I tricked everybody. Because, see, what it is is I'm still figuring out and trying to find out um, what, 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 that, what that love thing is that I talk about all the time. You know what I mean? Like, you know, as, um, as, as a musician, as an artist, as songwriters, um, we often become our own muse. You know what I mean? Right. And some of us is just borderline just crazy. You know what I'm saying? For a literal sense. You know what I mean? But, um, man, I'm a, I'm going in a direction where I feel like, yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? That, that um, 
that 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 I do I do want to go down that road. That I do you know what I mean? I do want to have that. You know what I mean? Like the, the like the four the four O is on the way for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a um, a thing. A le- it takes a level of maturity and, and growth. And um and I'm finding myself too. Also, you know, it's it's about it's about my top five or top ten. Or when I say that, in the sense of like surrounding myself around like-minded individuals. You know what I mean? Because it's like you know, I feel like I'm a firm believer that that you, you know. I, I'm a, you know, you are judged by the character of the individuals you that you kick it with. You know what I mean? So I try to find, you know, so I'm in that transition of like, yo, so, you know, changing, changing up a few things. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, you know, if you running with the, if you running with the, uh, young, wild, and free, then that's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the motive. You know what I mean? That's gonna, that, that's, that's gonna be the lingo. That's gonna be the lifestyle. You know, but uh, if you, if you, if you're around some brothers that you know are married and, you know what I mean? And and to, like just even with Tony for man, I might have to I might have to be become one of these confidential clients of Tony's. Like the, 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 the so, but, <laughs> yo, so so you know what? So that's interesting, right? Because here, right, in one sense, you you kind of still discovering it and trying to figure it out. Um, mm-hmm. Tone, you know, I would so I guess I would I would go to you and and add a little spin on it because I think. I think one of the things that women find, I know I found this in my past relationships, is that one of the things that they want is quality time, right? Like, so even if you're not, even if they're not your girlfriend, they want quality time. So, like, how how do you manage? How do you describe? You got 23 different business incomes and this and that, and books and coaches. Like, what's family? What's quality time with your girl? Is like the is with your wife? Is like the 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 um, BlackBerry off? Is the second phone off? Is is like what what is the, what does that time look like? Like is it really sacred and personal, or is you one foot in, one foot out? Sometimes you know you one foot in, one foot out. But then I had <laughs> I, I had to realize I put my wife. I began to schedule her just like a business meeting. I realized if business is this important, my wife needs to be on my schedule. So every day she's on my calendar. So if I show you my phone right now, like realistically. Right now, tonight, it'll show you Tuesday night right there. <laughs> you, you'll see it up close. Oh, it, it's, too, it's too blurry. Oh, you see it. It says, write Sharia poem at the right. bottom. And then Monday night, it says, run her bath water. Wednesday oh, night, Lord. it says, back massage. Oh, okay. Thursday, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Here. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on, because Kenny, yo, Kenny, you crazy. Kenny, do you schedule wife in? What what's happening out here? Let, come on now, are Man, you scheduling? Listen. or Are you going off memory because you're just that good? First of all, big <laughs> shout out to Tony Caskis. This shit is crazy. You just <laughs> you just set you just set the bar extremely you just set the high. Bar, yo, extremely <laughs> high. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I, I think the key to it, man, is just being thoughtful in general. We're not going to always remember, you know, we're out here, all of us are entrepreneurs in our own, right? We're, we're hustling, man. The hustle don't stop. You know, Dr. J said it best, man. He's Dr. J and said he still feels like his best has yet to come. So mm-hmm. on, on one hand, yes, you have to make the time and you have to create, you know, boundaries and, and obviously implement priorities. And your wife and children, in my case, are my number one priority. And, you know, a lot of you know me on this on this panel. I've had opportunities to do a whole bunch of stuff in my life that I think would have furthered my career and things of that nature. But I found mediums so I can stay in my relationship because being gone, you know, 200 days out of 365 is not conducive for a really a functional relationship. Um, right. You know, moving to Atlanta, you know, after living in L.A. and New York and all these things, that was best for me and my family. You know, and it comes a time where you have to choose. And I think... You know, this is great advice. I mean, from what Tony was saying, how he schedules, and then also what I'm saying, like, prioritize. As long as she knows and feels she's the priority and your kids know and feel that they are priorities, I think everything else falls in line because it's just going to be times, Tony, that I'm going to forget to run the bath for them. I mean, that shit ain't happened since <laughs> I, 19, I know, we, you, I forget too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that was stupid. Yes. So hold on, now hold on, because, okay, so um, Jeff, Jeff, is it more important? Okay, so now we understand we scheduling. So let's let's get to where we are. We scheduling wife in. We 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 governing ourselves accordingly. We so here's the here's the question: Do you stay with the wife for the kids? Does the marriage come first or does the kids come first? 
That's mm-hmm. the real question. Does the marriage come first or does the kids come first? Because I have a particular point of view about this, me, but I want to throw it over to you, Jeff, and then Kenny Burns. Making your marriage first creates the right environment for your kids. Come on now. And so when you are in a space where you create the relationship with a woman that you're trying to see, here's the thing, right? And and first, let me say this. I think Tony Lyon, I think he got that in his cell phone <laughs> for his clients. He won't be doing that. <laughs> you, hey, you can ask my wife. You can ask my wife. You can ask my well, wife. she going to say that too, man, because y'all going to lose money if it ain't true. I, I, I'm, I'm telling I'm, you. No, I, Tony, no I'm, just, I'm just playing with you, man. I, I, I think you're a brother of integrity. But, but no, uh, real talk, I think that relationships have to be revolutionary. And so the person that we're supposed to spend our life with, when we get together, the world changes because we yes. get together. Yes. And so when a, yes. when a relationship is yes. truly revolutionary, it creates the space for your babies, right? And so when you have to ask yourself, am I staying for the kids, you wasn't with the right person to begin with. Okay, now, but, now. But, but Jeff, but, but Jeff, everybody come on. Down. No, but Jeff, I think, and this is, this is back to our grandparents, because our parents, I know my mama was a love child and she wasn't into right. the whole whatever, but our grandparents and their parents they stayed together because they had to. And I don't think it was an option. See, But they we, also got married under different circumstances. Yeah, I mean, they got married under different circumstances, but so did we. I mean, we're crack babies. We, we, we are babies of a love revolution where free love was the movement and we was the everyday and cocaine and all that gangster. Right. What I'm saying is, you know, we had the Cosby show. So while our parents were dysfunctional and doing all that gangster shit, I used to come home... And Rick James, Rolls Royce be in the parking lot. You know what I mean? It's just like right. you see the shit that you're not supposed to see as a child, but then you watch the Huxtables. And right. growing up, I wanted to be the Huxtables. I'm, you know, from Washington, D.C., hood, one single parent, all that, don't really know my father. But it was aspirational. It was aspirational. And now, I mean, when it was time for me to choose, I chose that. And it's really a choice, just like staying with it's them right. is a choice. Totally, I totally agree. But but, but I, I, think, I think my thing is, a lot of times we make excuses for relationships because of the kids. And so I, I just know that the relationship you have with your partner is what creates the environment. And, and so, I, I'll be honest, I, I'm in my second marriage. Right. And, and, You're and 25. Be, well, I got married at three, brother. I got married at three. It was arranged. It was arranged. So, but, but I, what I realize is that my current wife is as important to creating an environment for my babies, even though she's not their mother. And so what the environment that we make from our revolutionary relationship helps create a co-parenting environment with my babies, even though they got their mom. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so hold that thought. No, I love that. So Ra, Ra, I want you to weigh in on that. Yeah. Right? So uh, Rev, now you... You, you know, I did it the other way around. I, I have... Right. I, I, so talk, talk. The woman I marry is going to have to deal with the fact that I have, you know, children outside of that, outside right. of that situation, man. And um, and it, and it's 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 I love I love me myself I love kids you know what I mean. But it's um, it's you know it's definitely a challenge you know what I mean. Um, so juggling it with the career. And and because I'm I, I too I too live you know I I too have the Dr. J you know what I'm saying formula. It's like man I'm I'm still a baby you know in, in in my career as far as I'm concerned I'm still a fetus in it you know what I mean as far as the things that I want to accomplish and what have you and I think part of me that that I'm one of those men I think that said that I can't have the personal I can't really commit to that lifestyle if I'm not completely 100% happy with what's going on okay. say, with my so career can, and my can business. We do, can we business. do an intervention right now with Rob? Let's do, let's, do, let's do an intervention. No, <laughs> straight up, it, Rob, because cause, cause what I'm saying is, and, I, and I'm not saying go ahead and get married, mm-hmm. but I think most of the brothers on the line who are in that relationship will tell you when you get with the person that's right, your mm-hmm. career is going to go to a whole nother level. Yes. And I think a lot of cats block the relationship that mm-hmm. they that they've been blessed with in the name of a career when when they get into the relationship the career's going to go to a whole nother level because the right woman will make you know things about yourself 
will push you to places you couldn't go by yourself right. and mm -hmm. be able to create not not a new you but be able to pull the right women know how to pull the right things out of us right make you a right. better you right. a better you so hold yes. that thought hold that thought hold that thought cuz tony you you mentioned about your relationship with your wife you right. touched on that earlier about how um she's inspired you so was were you like like down and out and worthless before she came along. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. When I when I met my wife, I didn't have two nickels to rub together, and I was a, I was a broke hustler. I was in the streets hustling, and I was a grown boy. And I went. If it wasn't for her, I would literally, literally be in the prison or the grave. And I mean, I just I didn't have no vision. But she saw something in me. I introduced my representative to her. And then she made me become that representative. So I spoke lies, I spoke dreams, and she made me fulfill them. So, you know, here I am. I was selling drugs when I met her because that's all I knew. That's where I'm from. That's what I was doing. And I was robbing stores on the weekend. But she right, spoke right. into my life and said, you got wisdom. You know, you got wisdom far beyond your years. So she birthed the book through me called What Daddy Never Told His Little Girl at 22 years old. Steve Harvey twice my age used my same concepts in his book that he wrote at 50 but I didn't know I had that in me she birthed it next thing you know I'm on Oprah telling my story I'm on Tyra Banks now I'm traveling the, the world speaking on other continents getting paid tens of thousands of dollars I, I was making nineteen thousand dollars a year and now I started making more money than I could count so I was so, like so, this woman so saved my life so hold that thought for me so Kenny you've been getting money for a long time out here in these streets Okay, you've been you've been so you as your how do you relate to that the concept of the woman because right because I mean you've been getting money so did you really need to get married to have that to to come about like what is that what what is your take on that yeah I I don't think I mean this is this is two part for raw I don't think you necessarily gotta get married man I don't think your music and not to shun what Jeff said but your music speaks to that fantasy, you know, that dream, that that ultimate fulfillment that people look for and can't find. So I don't know how much you would be filtered with a woman, you know, because you can't be as nasty as you want to be doing all the crazy shit, freak shit you like to do. But 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 to but to the question, to the question and I and I and Tony, we, we have a similar story, brother. I you know, I met my wife at Howard University homecoming in 1997. I was having my 25th birthday party, and I went to hand her a flyer to invite her. After that, went and saw her maybe three weeks later in Chicago and literally was on my high horse. I had all the money in the world, and then in six months, I lost my face on my knuckles. And one day I went to see her in Chicago, and she told me. I was up there with Kanye and John Monopoly, and I, and I, and I, was, I was visiting, trying to figure out a hustle. I went to see her, and we were sitting on Lake Michigan, and she told me, she said, what you worried about? You Kenny Burns. And for the first time in my life, somebody had spoke something to me like, oh, shit, I am Kenny Burns. You know, and she just went on this tangent about you don't let nobody see you a certain way. You don't do those things. Like, that's not who you are. I was like, damn, that ain't me. Who the fuck am I? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I 100% and I, and I, and I agree with that because those are the things – that make you a better man. I had a rotten tooth. She said, how are you so so handsome and got a rotten tooth? I said, well, God damn, why do I got a rotten tooth? It was things. Why are you paying your bills to Western <laughs> Union? I was like, because that's my, my dad. I don't know. no." So my point yeah. to you is a great woman will make you great. But at the same time, and this is back to Jeff. I couldn't finish without getting this off my chest. But back to Jeff, like, I think that at the end of the day, man, you got to stay for the kids, man. Because these kids shouldn't see what we, a lot of us saw growing up, if you can help it now. And I agree 100% with Jeff's point about making, um, you know, that, that right person makes the scenario. You shouldn't get married if that's not the right person. That's rule number one. But at the same time, if you know she's the best mother possible and the father's the best provider and father possible, man, you got to stay. It's 18 years. If you got into it, you knew you was getting into 18 off top. That's yeah, like me and Tony. But, but Kenny, the only the, – and I agree with you. The only way, reason I think that doesn't happen is when we create an environment that's so unhealthy, it hurts the babies more than it helps them. Yeah, but you're not going to do that. Like It's like my wife and I have But, but you and I both know that happens a lot. 
Yeah, I don't know that many dysfunctional niggas no more, to be honest, Jeff. Like, well, that's, that's, because, that's, that's because of the circles you run in, No, man. but like, it's a choice, you, though, you Jeff. Are it's elite, a choice, brother. No, it's hold a on, choice. hold on. Let me jump in for a second, though. I think, I think, and we, I think we only got like a minute or two left. I, I'm gonna add one piece, and then I'm gonna let everybody leave everybody with a jewel. I would say to that, to to Kenny's point, I think it, it goes for me. It goes back to where the commitment is. If the commitment is to the relationship and making it work, then the circumstances you can correct. And I think ultimately that will keep the family unit together and it will it will put a spark in a relationship. I wasn't wise enough to do that. Um so which is which is why I'm out here in these streets thugging and mobbing. But I'm just but as I got older as I got older I've learned and I've you know I've been fortunate enough to have someone that, that speaks to me in a way now that does inspire me. Um, on that note, we got to wrap it up. But listen, I want everybody to drop a jewel, right? Something that, that people could walk away to. We have the next one when we're going to dive into money. It's going to be an hour talking about them ones. We need but to get back everybody... to this too, though, Grim. We need to, go, we need to get back to this love thing one more so time. You know what? So the, the ladies, <laughs> hey, ladies, tweet us. Let us know what we're going to talk about the next time. Look Tony, we're going to start with you. Uh, oh, they, oh they, they I didn't even see it yet. Yeah, okay, I got to see. So listen, Tony, take us away, man. Give us, give us three things that make sense. Go. I just, I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give you one. Yes. And this is for the fellas. And this is what I say. And I just want to echo it. Find your rib, and you will breathe a lot easier. That's so good. What, 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 what we need is for men to stop being mediocre, to stop selling for mediocrity and desire greatness. So. I'm greater than I've ever been being 100% faithful to one woman. I have more clarity and more focus and more drive than I've ever had. And it's from loving one woman. So what I, what I teach is what I live. And it's been life changing. It's been revolutionary, like Jeff said. So I want the fellas to man up, you know, and let's, let's get that one woman and let's change the world. I feel like love is the greatest gift that God has given, and that's what's going to heal our world because that's okay, going to stop go. crime, hate, everything. Absolutely. Love is in demand. Kenny Burns. Yeah, uh, they seem to be tweeting uh, one of my quotes already, <laughs> players. Uh, a great woman will make you great, you know, and I truly believe that. Um, I think that at the end of the day, man, you, you know, you have to know what you're getting into in these relationships, man. And I think that sometimes we try to talk ourselves into things we know aren't really what we want. It might be sexual, it might be a whole bunch of different things that draw you to that person, but it has to be a real full package um, when diving into a serious relationship. And at the end of the day, you know, um, you got to make you got to make it work. If you get into that relationship, you have to do everything you possibly can to make it work. And I, I'm not going to front. When I first got married, my wife didn't want kids like that. I remember right. my little sister was two years old and she didn't want to hold my little sister and she's the best mother on planet earth i could not you know imagine me bringing another woman into that fold at this point so just just know know what you're getting into y'all no doubt jeff come on give us something begin to embrace uh divine imperfection yeah everything that gets on my nerves about my wife causes me to be better in response and so That's it's right. the areas where she's not perfect that makes me better if I respond the right way. And I think so many brothers, you know, ditch women or drop relationships because they don't fit into this little box where they don't realize the right woman's imperfections make us perfect for them. That's right. Man, hey, listen, um, um, I'm going to say something and then Rob, I'm going to let you close it out because this is your thing. Okay. Um, I, I would just say to everybody that love can only exist in absolute freedom, right? So we don't own each other, right? And it's not love if I got to coerce you. It's not love if I got to force you. It's, it's not love if you got to do something for me. I, I believe that when I operate from my highest, um, that affects everybody around me, right? So if I'm coming from my highest, then my woman, my children, whoever it is, will feel the benefits from that. I don't want no woman to do anything for me because she feel like she have to. It's a get to. You get to love me. Just like I get to love you. You don't have to. And neither do I. It's a choice. Ra, it's on you. I'm going to take this opportunity to announce my new reality show, The Rib. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which will be uh, 
finding I'll finding my rib, the reality show, finding my rib, which uh you know Tony will be my executive producer. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kenny Burns, Joe, I'm gonna put you in, in charge of uh, after parties and uh, bar mitzvahs, and uh, Jeff, you will be my spiritual advisor. Um, no, on a on a on a serious note, man, I want to thank y'all as uh. As brothers, I look I look up to y'all as OGs, you know, and, and, and big brothers and whatnot, um, you know, in business, but also, you know, when when it comes to um, when when it comes to relationships and you know some of you guys I follow on Twitter and or we've had personal intimate conversations about marriage and you know what I mean and and, and what have you, but I you know I think my album and the music is the testament to the fact that I think love in particular is one of the unsolved uh, mysteries of the universe probably next to who is God, what does God look like, what, you know, uh, and, 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 and although we don't know, you know, you, you know we, we know, I think we, we, we think, we, we take God and, 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 and as, as Allah and Buddha and Jehovah all to be, you know, this uh, great person, you know, for, for the will of good, you know, I think that uh, never stop never stop trying to find out what that love connection is you know and not to be not to be uh, cliche and, um, and 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 a conquest for happiness you know what I mean I think it's I think it's something that um, it, it, it's, it's it's about being honest not only with that other person but more importantly honest with yourself and knowing what you're ready for and what you're not ready for and uh, I look forward to doing this with you guys again and everybody that's out there in the world, you know, tuning in right now, definitely give us feedback. Hit us up on the Twitter. As you can see, our, our handles and uh, and whatnot. Everybody, if you just want to shout out your Twitter before we log off, uh, please do so. For those who don't know, my, mine is Raheem underscore Devon. At JoJo Brim. Jeff's Nation. Tony Gaskins. At Tony Gaskins. At Kenny Burns. Yo, so yo, Cyber World, we'll be back. More relationships, more love, life, money, everything. Hey, Jojo, Stop. can I say one thing to Raheem? Yes, yes brother. Sir. Raheem, I really don't want you to get married, man, because I love your music and I live through <laughs> your music. I, I want you to please continue this fantasy dealing that you're doing. It's important to the universe. Hey, Kenny, you know what's crazy? And and, and I, I, I kind of know where you're coming from, from like being in the business and being – being an artist and being a songwriter that I've seen certain artists. Uh, let me say this. I've seen certain artists. I won't say any names. I've seen certain artists go ahead and, 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 and hop the broom, and it turned out to be, you know what I'm saying, maybe they had the wonderful muse, but most of them, I've seen them crash and burn. Yeah, JoJo don't want to tell you that because he's your friend and your manager, but oh, yes. <laughs> he, know, he knows it's beneficial to him if you keep out here thugging in these streets. Sure. <laughs> Somebody hit the emergency d d button. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming to an end. Good night, everybody. Yo, thank you for coming. God bless you. Good night. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no.